This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use set actions to show and hide the distribution. So what I mean by that is when I click on tables, I want to see all of the order IDs within tables that make up that average sales amount. So if I click on it, it will then give me every order ID and their um, asso associated sales figure. And then when I click off, it disappears. So how do we do that? First off, we want to create the chart of subcategory by sales, but this time we want to do average sales. And we want to just sort these, so copiers are at the top. We're also going to change this to a circle and make it halfway and fit entire view. I'm just going to do some cleanup activities first, so format, workbook, grid lines, I want them off, and also those zero lines, I want them off. So now we've got a nice clean viz and those pesky axis rulers are there too. So let's get rid of those. And I'm going to hide my subcategory and also hide the title. So now what I want to do is when I click on this particular um, subcategory, I want to show all of the relevant order IDs for those. So I'm going to create a new set. So right click subcategory, go to create set. And I'm just going to put the first one on the list. And then we're going to call this subcategory set. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new field which gives me the sales based on that subcategory. And I've totally spelled subcategory wrong. So let's just rename that. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to isolate those subcategory care sales. So subcat sales. So if this set, we can drag it in, then sales end. So we don't want any other um, set, we don't want to say else zero or else something else. We just purely want the subcategory sales. So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to put that into our columns too. Again, it's only going to pick up that one sum of sales for subcategory. So on our second marks card, we're going to put in order ID onto detail. This is going to give us all of those order IDs. But notice how it changed our set. It's because Tableau's done a nested sort. So what we want to do is we want to change the way this is sorting. So go back into sort, sort by field, and we purely just want the average of sales. Now, we're going to dual axis these and we're obviously going to synchronize them and I'm going to move the blue dot back to the front. So move marks to back and then we're going to hide that header and we're just going to make these other circles a little bit smaller so we can still see them. We've got this indicator down here, we can right click um, and we, we actually make sure you want to right click and hide indicator. So now we've got all of those terrible borders, so format, borders, row divider, none, column divider, none. Now we've got a nice clean viz again. So the, what I'm going to show you now is how to create the set action to be able to create. So you can click on a different one and it will change to that specific cat, subcategory. So if we go to dashboard because this is where we want our dashboard. This is where we want our set actions to happen. So we're going to create it in the dashboard because they don't carry through to the dashboard if you create them in the sheet. So if you go to dashboard, dashboard actions, add action, change set value. So again, we're going to go from sheet one down here to our subcategory set on the select. We're just going to change this. And then we're going to say what we want to do when we clear the selection. So I'm going to do remove all set values. OK and OK. So now when I click on chairs, you're going to see the range of the values. But what's that? Why is it doing this? So I can't see the, the proper values in the back. And then when I click off it, it disappears. Why is it doing that? So 
as I was building this tip, I figured this one out. So we need to remove measure names off of our detail. So let's remove those. And we just want to make sure the colors are different. So we're gonna go back to orange and we're gonna leave that one as blue. So now when I go back to the dashboard and I click bookcases, you'll still be able to see the orange as well as the blue. So you can see the full extent of your order IDs in that specific subcategory. So again, hit binders and you can see the full extent of the data.